episode... You want to ask me something? Don't be... Yes. Don't care. Let's let's just stop talking about episode numbers. You know why? All right. Fine. Who cares? Episode um, 5 million, whatever. Okay, then. So now, now let's talk about <laughs> the haircut. The, the, ele- the <laughs> elephant up? in the what, room. What, 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 besides what, the one in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> what's up with the haircut? <laughs> okay. What's up with the haircut? Okay. So... Yeah. Um, it's a, it's about the job. Basically, is what it is. Uh, oh, I had like another. That, didn't like yeah, that, I had, that uh, Korean boy band look. The Korean boy band. Nobody or liked K-pop, the Korean the boy K-pop band. K-pop look. Yeah. Well, what happened was, um, I had another interview scheduled. It, it came it, like it happened really fast last week. I okay. applied at a job. Let's say I think it's on a Tuesday. Uh huh. Or no, no no let's say it was a mon- it was a Monday. Okay. I had uh, I had that person that, that the employer reached back Monday afternoon, so we were kind of corresponding for a little bit Monday and Tuesday. Oh wow! And and they she asked to she asked to interview me Wednesday, so it was like a oh, span, was it was like bam, bam, bam. Yeah, so I was like, you know what? I want to put myself in the best possible uh, chance right, right. to grab this job, especially like with appearance. So I was like, you know what? I'm of gonna, course, I'm gonna it, well. it counts, right? It all oh yeah. Counts. Yeah, so um, I I did it I wanna, myself. I want I want to take the conversation to um, a different topic, but let's continue oh, with you know. You, you don't want to spend two hours talking about my hair, bro? Why not? Why not? <laughs> I just don't find it that interesting. Um, That's a joke that obviously went over your head. I know. Slow um, ass. So how did it go? It went really well. I. I have an invitation to visit the facility on Monday. So I'm actually driving down to it's, it's, it's in Florida. It's in Florida. Yeah. Oh, wow. Look at that. Yeah. It's, and it's to kind of preface this whole thing with mm-hmm. the, with the job. It's one of the, that place that I applied at, it's a setting that it's really hard to get into as far as my career goes. It's one mm-hmm. of the top sought out settings. It's a, it's pediatrics basically. Okay. So in yeah, you, I mean you right, you, right, you, right, you don't right. you won't get it, but like just, I'm me telling you that it's it's up there. It's probably like the top setting that people. There was a lot of applicants. Uh huh. And that's 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 what even my interviewer told me. But I remember what I told you a couple of weeks ago. How all I need is the interview the interview and i can sell myself i can sell you know the person the job or i can sell myself for the the person i cannot talk i can i can sell myself to the person so right that person could hire me so basically you know crossing my fingers something down there yeah and you got and you got to think about it you got i'm sorry you got to think about this way too like she's just she's not gonna let me drive all the way down there if it's not like very promising you know what i mean like that that's that's what i was just gonna ask next right like um because it's a long drive right it's um it's a commitment and once you saw your your resume and realized that you're from georgia well it's again it's um yeah it's um it's a big decision to make oh well on your end right but you applied for the job so um so you when are you driving down there uh, I'm actually driving down there tomorrow. Uh, as we're recording this, uh, this is we're, we're, it's a Saturday right now, so it's yeah. Sunday. I'll be driving down. I'm gonna spend the night down there, uh huh. And then because the, the 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 interview is uh, early in the morning, so it's best to just go ahead and go down there. Oh, okay, so whatever this interview is, it's a pre- uh, so you're going for a second interview, basically. Yeah, technically it is. Yeah. But the, oh, the okay, main, I see. But the main purpose of, at least coming from my, you know, the person who inter- interviewed me, which is the person who interviewed me, is basically like she's the owner of the place. So oh. she was, yeah, she was like the the last stop. Okay. To make decisions, yeah, she was basically like, I need you to come down and look at the place. I'm going to show you around, see how it fits with what you, you know, what you're looking for. Yeah. What you're looking for. But like she did tell me that like there were so many applicants 
from whole like different states and whatnot. Mm-hmm. And it's, it's, it's a very competitive job, like I told you. She, I mean, just based on the conversation and what I heard from her, like she, you know, she liked, she liked what I, what I said, or she liked my demeanor. She even said like, she liked, there was something about, you know, she, she's like, I, I'm all up about, uh, I'm all about trusting my gut. And my gut tells me that, you know, you, you, you should, you're, you're going to be a good, you know, good fit why not well that's, that's good because then she's right. not looking at you through she's just looking at your personality right as something that adds to significantly adds to i i guess in terms of points it you know it, it has a lot of points right the personality because at the yeah, end of the like, day and like the demeanor you know someone's a person when you demeanor, say demeanor i'll be honest i don't understand what that means you don't understand what demeanor means no all right, let's let's uh you have to go, you know we'll break look, it down it into a simpler english if you can it's not something that i would you know write demeanor okay demeanor is um a southern lunch it's a cuisine actually it's okay. uh potatoes and carrots yeah, so so she saw that I had that dish i was, I was holding it up like this it's like here goes my demeanor <laughs> do you like it Bro, demeanor is like, like how you are without like your nonverbal self, basically your aura. That's kind of like your demeanor, how okay. you carry yourself. Yeah, that's and, exactly that's exactly what I was looking for. Like you know, it's sometimes I try to stay away from those kind of words just because. I'll, if you were to <laughs> use it in a sentence, I kind of understand what it means, but I'm not gonna pretend that I understand. I understand it, and so I'd rather ask you and tell me what you, you know, what you meant by demeanor. Right, right. But anyways, yeah, well, that's yeah. good then. But you know, to be honest with you, you know what I what I think why she liked me and why she wanted me to, you know, come down and do all that mm-hmm. in the first place. You know, the yeah. the only the one reason it's the hair, bro. I, <laughs> it's because I, I cut my hair. I can Cause, see because otherwise I would have been like you know Nick it Carter, was, uh, Nick, Nick Carter, Kim. Slash Kim, because you know it's a yeah. Korean boy band. By the wow. way, who's Nick Carter? Who's Nick Carter? From from Backstreet Boys, everyone knows Nick Carter, because everyone. I don't know well, that you know. I guess, you don't even know what demeanor means. What does demeanor have to do with Nick Carter? <laughs> Nothing. Um, <laughs> I'm just messing with you. Uh, well, yeah, because going back to the haircut, you know, everyone had that same haircut, right? Um, yeah, back in really the day, good. back in you know Sheesh. when we were in elementary, it's like half of the the, the boys in high school. I mean, high school and elementary oh, all right. had that same haircut, right? Like so... a very even 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 like people that you don't think would have it, like Pat and like Dennis, they had that haircut. Yeah, they were they were they was rocking that 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 joint, son. They were like, oh, you know what. You know how uh, back in the day, uh, you, you know how you how you have this natural. I don't even know how you would say it. Like there's that little cut on your hair, right? It's like line. You yeah, you're natural. It's natural part. Is, it, is that what it's called? Right. Is that what it? I don't know what it's called. So then, this new hairstyle came in, and it was the thing back then. So I don't know if you had the same struggle as I did when I was trying to, you know. Um, create that middle line of my the, um the, the part yeah yeah, yeah, you, had yeah. That same, you had that hair you had that haircut too i remember i did i did and i had a pretty i kind of a long hair back then too yeah you, know, you did was, and um, you, you, yeah you had a, like a medium length hair and you dyed it pink and then you, you with your lipstick and all that you were very you're a pretty girl you forgot about you forgot about the lashes <laughs> the lashes <laughs> 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 oh, which reminded me of a friend of ours um apparently wanted to um uh i guess make his eyebrows thicker so he uh he he had to pull a mona lisa he shaved his eyebrows i don't remember this <laughs> he shaved his eyebrows bro who is this person can you name drop uh, this guy can play the guitar <laughs> <laughs> Uh, wait, uh, this was, an, was, it, was this an was this an elementary? 
I think this was in elementary, yeah. So he, he shaped, like, is it, is it one eyebrow or both? I think both. You have to do both. Oh, like, my God. It'd be too weird if you just shaved one eyebrow and just leave the other. It's it already <laughs> weird to begin with. You, you might as well just commit it to just one. But, but you can see the intent behind it, though, right? It's kind of like <laughs> shaving your pubes. And going, you, you know, you, you don't want it. If you don't want it to grow thick, you don't shave it. So he applied, he applied the same idea, and I guess that's just him being a kid and trying to make use of, you know, every bit of information that he has towards himself. Let me ask you this. How much money can I pay you for you to do that right now? How much money? Thousand, yeah, what, thousand bucks? You sure. shave your eyebrow, both your eyebrows? Yeah. You, you'll, you'll shave your eyebrows for a thousand dollars. You know why? Yeah. But you have to take a selfie every single time. Like every day, you gotta post it on Facebook. Okay. Post okay it on so now that's a so now that's a different thing because it's just too fucking weird. Like I don't mind to do that. To post to post it every day. Yeah. Yeah. Nah. Yeah. You have to. You have to bump it up. I just, bump it up. Fifty k. I'll do it. Fifty thousand. Fifty thousand. Right. You you're mm-hmm. gonna have to suck my dick or something for fifty thousand. You crazy, <laughs> son. <laughs> You're I wouldn't have to do go it. down. Huh? I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it. Um, well, I don't know. You know, like sometimes w- when you initially ask the question, shaving it, yeah, why not? Because in my head, I don't really give a shit. Oh, you know what people think for a thousand bucks? A thousand bucks could go somewhere, right? Exactly. But if, like, but if I, I was to post it every day, and that's a, that's. Okay. A, but but you got to think about it too. The, the the effect, the shock will only matter in the first couple of days. After like the third, fourth day, no one's going to care what you look like anymore since you've, you've already posted it initially. Right. You know but what I mean? So it's not... Yeah, but it, like what you said, who cares? You, you, you still get two grand. Well, a- anyways, and that's, anyways and that's, this, this, is, this is a dumb conversation. I, I don't know how we got here. Um, well, it started with a haircut, right? And it's... It... <laughs> It kind of ties into the discussion that I'm going to ask. Kind of ties into that because then, okay, you're talking about um, people not caring, but it's, it's, do do you? But at the same time, you should also care about what people think about you. I know how, how a agree. lot of people will say, "Yeah, like you know, uh, you do you. You know, uh, who cares about what other people think? Like, yeah, you should care because otherwise, you're just going to be in your own world." To yeah. an extent, to an extent, you should care. And yeah. here's here here's how, or here's how I personally view it. You should care about the input that you get, like crit- criticisms and all that from the people that you trust. Feedback, you mean? Yeah, the like feedback. Input. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You should so you should have like a select people who you trust their pe- mm-hmm. their feedback. You don't just be hearing like all kinds of different crap from all people because you know people just talk. People. People just like to talk and sometimes mm-hmm. it's not conducive to your growth to be like, oh, let me listen to Joe Blow down the street of what he thinks about this mm-hmm. or, you know, this person who's, who I have no idea who this person, context matters as well, you know, as far as that. So, so, so there's a lot of factors involved. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, and yeah, uh, context for sure. That's uh, it's really important. Um, now let's go back to the job in in Florida. Yeah, the job. Yeah. Um, well, not it's not a job, but the you know the, the potential job. The, the potential. You have, right. You can see you haven't signed a contract yet. Um, I'll, you know I'm I'm curious to as to you know the the things that you think about because back then. Um, you know, you, you, I'd say two, three weeks ago, you were talking about, you know, like maybe if I find a job in Georgia, then I'll, I'll stay in Georgia or in Macon. But now you have. That was a good point. Okay. Keep going. Right. So now, so now we're talking about Florida. We're talking about, you know, the, the dream. Right. Oh, right. So. You, you know what I mean? Like, so now what does that make you excited? Does it make you anxious? Does it make you like scared? Does it make, did, did, did you go, holy shit, this shit's 
this shit is happening, it could happen, and it could happen, and it will happen. Yeah. My answer to that is all the above. All of the above that we just said, you know, excited, Mm -hmm. anxious, and, you know, kind not scared, but like weary. I don't know if that's the correct uh, term. It's a combination of feelings, right? Yeah. But, but the anxiety and all that, the, the pressure part of it is the good kind, not the bad, you know, the bad type of stress, Um, like stress in a good way, because, you know, it's, it's a good challenge. And like what you said, you saw, yeah, you hit it on the nail when you said, you know how like we were talking about i was initially i was like no i'm not gonna apply at georgia or anywhere else like mm-hmm. i set my eyes i set my my heart on mm-hmm. georgia and i'm gonna gonna trust that because mm-hmm. i you know going back to like the spirituality part mm-hmm. of the conversation like i i put it all in providence like that's mm-hmm. i'm trusting that this is going to happen and look it, it i mean it's not it's not written in stone yet but it's just a high chance yeah, I have a good feeling about it. If if I have to like rate it out of ten with my confidence in getting this job, it's probably like an eight right now. That's pretty high. So right, so exactly. So it's yeah. sometimes you just got you 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 just, you just got to bet on yourself, man. You just got to trash uh, trash trust the path that you you planned on initially. And and and, and the truth is, you you never you. you, you there's really just no way for you to, um, you know, really find out until you until you do it, right? Think like right. everything's fluid. Like I, I do agree with what you said about trusting, you know, uh, yourself, and you should you should. However, when it comes to results, well, it's never it's never it's never guaranteed, right? You can uh, do something about it to increase, you know, your chances of getting there. And I think that's what you did. You you know you cut your hair. You had to give up your K-pop look. I had to give that's up the, the K-popness. Uh, I was like I was this close yeah. to like putting on lipstick every day, but I was like, you know what? Weren't you I'm working gonna, on an al- a, K- a new K-pop album anyway? I, I was work I was working on this new K-pop album. I was this close to like transitioning into uh, being a female, but I was like, you know what? I'm gonna put this on pause and just just wait. Uh, so that's what happened. You, know, you got to sacrifice sometimes. <laughs> but to like to uh, being being serious, being serious though, like you said, uh-huh. what you said about you know you can't guarantee results, yeah. but you can't. The things you can't control are like you preparing, you trusting the process. It's just like, for example, think about it as like a uh, any kind of sport, like any kind of game. But let, let's use basketball as an example. Mm-hmm. You you can't predict the the final final score. Mm-hmm. But what you can what you, what you can control is your, your practice time, the, the amount that you put in, the work mm-hmm. that you put in, and trust in the outside forces, which is like your teammates. Mm-hmm. And as long as you put yourself in the best possible chance to win, aka to succeed in your goals, then that's all you can do. And, and you have either to, way, you have to you, bet on it. You win the championship or not, you're still winning because. Really, you did your best. Like there isn't really not according you know. to competitive people. <laughs> well, They're like, nope, winning is not winning if you didn't win. Winning is not winning if you didn't win. Yeah, we're not talking about consolation winning. We're talking about did you win? Is your mm-hmm. score higher than the other person's score? If not, then you didn't win. Right. You but didn't that, win that, you didn't win the competition. That's not what I'm trying to say. But this is more of like in, 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 in terms of, you know, um, I'm talking about something internal. Something no, I agree. I, yeah, 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 I agree. I'm just, I'm just saying that's like the super competitive people. That's how they look at things. It's, oh. it's like that. I guess if you think about it, though, it, it, it makes sense because that helps them, you know, or focus more on their training, I would say. Mm-hmm. Heck it, yeah, it, bro. That's why, that's why you get like the Kobe Bryant's, the Michael Jordan's of the world, the Tiger Woods of the world. Is this that 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 obsessiveness that right? I, I, I still have drive. to watch. I still have to watch that Netflix documentary about Michael Jordan. The Last Dance. You you have to. Yeah, it's just that I haven't. You know, you know what? When it comes to finding time to watch, sometimes it's tough. I find it tough. But anyways, um, yeah, Jordan. Okay, so now, oh, what about journaling? Have have you been? 
did you continue with your journaling or did you just you know what screw this not or, a damn uh, thing <laughs> not a damn thing <laughs> <laughs> i didn't do nothing I, honestly i can't even find that journal that book it might be i might have left it when i went to florida to be honest with you so there you go they could read all my secrets and all my and no insanity mm-hmm. they're gonna see how how maybe how some preferred. stranger's gonna <laughs> pick it up <laughs> huh maybe some stranger's stranger. gonna pick it up yeah. yeah and they're probably like ah who cares my life's more interesting than this guy exactly. nah my life's <laughs> more interesting than than that person um what else I've got a few notes here. Yeah, what, what about, about you? Well, are you there yeah, follow, you, follow, follow your notes. What is it? Go ahead. Well, this is more like a, like a catcher from last time. Sober October. Oh, yeah. Did okay. you keep up with um, the workouts and all that? Yes, sir. I am right now. What is uh, um, day number day 10? Uh, straight fasting. And straight workout. I haven't skipped a workout. I haven't skipped a fast. I've lost about four, five pounds so far in 10 days. Oh, wow. That's impressive then. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't think you were going to. Uh, you didn't think you were, I was going to do it? Yeah, I didn't think. Even like, you come know, on, especially come now. Come me, bro. Down me, bro. Especially now that, um, you know, like with this news that you've given me like okay so it's there um there's a high chance and you might get it and what it, you did get it right um i guess the next what's the next phase then right i know you're gonna have to move down there but i'm talking about in terms of you know your goals and all that other stuff because now things are moving along yeah and they are in your favor Some, cause sometimes blessings can be a curse and I'm or not saying that. Around. What's that? Yeah. Or the other way around. Yeah. So it really depends on your perspective. But what I'm trying to say is because sometimes, um, and I'm not talking about your your uh, yourself or your career. Sometimes when people find success, that's when they also start becoming more complacent, right? Yeah. Because they lose yeah. that they I, lose I they lose that hunger, right? Mm-hmm. And and that's why I'm asking you, like, now that you're kind of headed to that path what is the next step? What's the next mountain to climb if there is a mountain? There, there, there's a lot of mountains that's all lined up. But mm-hmm. my mindset my mindset right now is I want to cross that bridge when I get there. Let me, let me, let me get this in the bag first. Let me secure this. Mm-hmm. And then, because I don't, that's not going to be a problem for me, like complacency. I'm not going to be complacent anytime soon. Like I'm not, I'm nowhere near where I want to be. Mm-hmm. And well, this year, yeah, this year has proven that I think uh, it's a, it's like a transition to where how, where I want to be. Like mm-hmm. the the people the people that deserve to leave my life left, and the people that deserve to stay stayed. Not really deserve to stay, but the people that will come are gonna come. So it's it's more of a I'm not worried about any of that. I, it's just that. I'm focused on me. I'm focused on the process. Like right now, I am just pulling, putting in the work. That's so, no, so, that's good. Because, because, that's what I don't know. I think I remember, I remember telling you about this. You know, like sometimes, um, like I'm happy with where I am, where I am today. And after a while, I'm scared of becoming complacent. That's one of the reasons why I'm doing all all these other things because I don't want to be complacent. Um, I want to keep pushing myself. Um, and sometimes I still feel like I've, I've lost the hunger to get better. You know what I mean? Though, um, though, if you were looking, if you were to look at my actions, it's not like I'm doing something bad or I'm not, I'm being lazy. It's just that sometimes I crave for that hunger. Like right now you, you have this big mountain to climb, but for myself, I also have a mountain that I wanted to climb. But um, but even if I don't reach that mountain, I'm happy with where I am today. There's that um, there's that thin line between trying and being okay and just saying, "Hey, you know what? I'm satisfied. I can die now." You know what I mean? 
yes or no? I think I think it's too early. You're too young to be in that mindset because you you have so much more to tackle in your life, whether or not it's something that you, you that's already revealed itself to you or something that you don't know yet. You know, it's yeah. you're you're not even forty, bro. You're not even thirty five. I know. And this is what so, this, this is the kind of stuff that I would write down in my, my journal sometimes because I feel like I feel like I need to push, but I don't know how what to push for or um or maybe I'm expecting myself to achieve something so great that it's just too far it, it's unrealistic, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um anyway, it's just the it's it's, it's just a thought because then when you're describing to me what you're going through right now, that's what I felt when I left uh, Toronto. When I had that call and uh, we pretty much just booked an interview and then one thing led to another, right? I, I came back. Um, I had a phone call. I came back a week after. Is it a week after? Yeah. And then a day after that, I had the interview. Two days after, I had an interview with a company. Uh, three days after that, I I was hired, and it just kept going from there. Two and a half, you know, two years, a year and a half, a year and a half later, I met my my fiance, and now I have a family. So, um, you know, kind of just everything just kind of slid into place, right? Right, and and these are all unexpected, and now, yep. it, and because I'm happy with where I'm at. At the same time, I'm also scared of, you know, losing all of it. I'm not saying that I'm gonna fucking lose it right away, but um, I feel like if I if I become complacent or if I start to become lazy, that's when I'm gonna start losing um, all of it. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. Where the heck I am I going with this? Because I want to write about you, this you too. Don't, you don't ever know where you're where you're going with your point, so I'm not yeah. surprised. <laughs> Well, well, here's the other thing. I want to write about it, right? Like, um, um, what was I going to write about? You know, like things that are important um, requires maintenance. Um, I don't know if you agree with that, but anyways, I'm just rambling here. Um, yeah, uh, I was going to ask you, do you ever feel sometimes when you're running out of like steam or mot- motivation? Mm-hmm. Uh, do you feel like do you borrow it from other people sometimes like you get inspired by other people like for example like if you if we're mm-hmm. if our our spots like switch mm-hmm. and i'm running out of motivation and then i see you and you're like just like yeah man like you're excited mm-hmm. and things like that do you sometimes like borrow that energy or sometimes with what you're with what you're saying right now that's what mm-hmm. i'm like huh that's kind of pulling me in too. Okay, right? good. Because because yeah, that's that's exactly my point. Like some like that's why it's it's always important to surround yourself with. It, yeah, totally agree. Pe- people that you uh, have not not necessarily like like minded, but like are ambitious and like are driven. People that are just not like eh, I don't. That's I'm, the I'm word. So ambitious in my life. It's pathetic yeah. people. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And that's exactly what the kind of people I want to avoid too. Yeah, I want exactly. ambitious talks people, people like just... who, you know, who wants more than what they can even like. You know, it things that you don't think that they can pull off, but they did pull off. They, they did pull exactly. off, right? Exactly. And the more ambitious this person is, like the more you want to associate yourself with them. Um, I don't know if I have. I don't know a lot of people who is like that. I guess you're, yeah, you're one of them now. But back then, I didn't see you as one of those people because I wasn't either. I, I, agree. I, had, I agree. I had zero ambition. Like I, but you know, shit happens, and then after a while, your vision becomes clearer, and now, I don't know. I Just going back, yeah, going back to what you said in like per, uh, earlier episodes as well. It's it takes. You, sometimes you need something really, really drastic or tragic in your life for you to kind of like break through and you, you got to go all the way down for you to go up, you know? So yeah, I, I agree. 
and, I definitely agree. And, and sometimes I kind of want to wish that on people. <laughs> yeah. But at the same time, it's not something that if people would be open to, right? Like who would want to yeah. go on a suicide mission? No one would want that, yeah. right? And, 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 you know, it's just not, it's not our business. You know, it's, you, you yeah. have your own crap to worry about. So it is yeah. what it is. Um. Anyway, you're going back to the you're going back to the haircut, bro. Like I cut my own hair. I said, "Look, you you can do this. You don't need to pay money to cut your own hair." Uh, how long did it t- How long did it take you to cut that though? Well, it's a lot longer because obviously from it's where a new it haircut, was, right? Yeah, I had I had like an actual long hair, so it took me about it's still less than an hour. It was, I think it was about forty five minutes. Yeah, yeah, that's long but time, if it's right? if it's if yeah, but I'm talking about if it's this, if I'm just maintaining maintaining this, it it shouldn't take long. Ten, ten minutes, ten minutes tops, probably. Hmm. Oh, it's not too bad then. Mm. I don't know. Maybe if it takes about ten minutes, then maybe I get something to consider. Yeah, it's it's shorter than when you put your makeup and lipstick. So <laughs> that's right. Um, exactly. Yeah. So. Um, what else do you have any more in your notes i don't really i don't i don't really have anything right now other than um uh, again like when it comes to myself I, I just had i just have work and home i pretty uh, much live a boring life but there's a lot of things that have been up there yeah i was gonna say anything that you you want to like get off your chest anything well yesterday I, yesterday i did i was supposed Please to bore us um, with it what's that Go ahead and bore us, uh, bore right. us with it. Well, yeah, come on. I, I had to do, I, I'm not going to say I had to do a, a demo what worked. There's this um, um, pro spreadsheet that I've been working on uh, and I wanted to do a demo. I was supposed to do a demo uh, to our team. What kind, what kind of demo? Um, just to show them the, the, the updates that I've done to this calculator that I created that's going to be used by everyone. Um, Wait, you created an abacus? Not oh, an a abacus. calculator. Yeah, a calculus calculator with an abacus. Like, wait, feature. like from scratch or like you designed like just different I'm talking buttons? about a, I'm, t- <laughs> I'm talking about an Excel ma- spreadsheet. I'm saying, how do, you, how do you make a calculator? Like, how do you it's called modify a, a guy? It's called a calculator. Not the calculator that you push, the, the ones that you oh, know that you use in the calendar. Oh, I see, I see, I see. I get what you're saying. Okay, keep going, keep going. Right. Um, not in a literal, yeah. So then I, we developed, like, you know, I updated this calculator. I was supposed to do a demo. And I noticed myself um, feeling nervous when I was doing it. And that's something that I wanted to address and find out, you know, why the heck am I feeling that way? Um, before before you presented, you were you were feeling nervous. Yeah, and even while I was doing mm-hmm. it, because I had even had technical difficulties, and it sucked because then I had to make everyone wait. Um, I was having problems with my computer, and uh, yeah, I don't know. It was um, something that I had to think about and figure out why I felt why I felt, and how do I become more comfortable in those kind of situations. Let me ask you this though. This is the very the the most important question that I'm sure every every everyone that's listening wants to know. When, when you felt like that, did your pee pee sh- shrink? That's the did it, did it retract? <laughs> I'll be honest. I'm unaware. <laughs> you said you don't know. I you... have no fucking clue. <laughs> of all the things that I pay attention to, that's the least. <laughs> that didn't even. <laughs> cross my mind you should oh, wait is this like a virtual uh presentation yeah it's a virtual presentation bro you should have just pulled your pants down so, so like you don't take yourself too seriously and like let like the air the the, the air condition is oh, like blow well, through like well here's the thing though. Something, well here's the thing though i guess if you're listening to me on the uh, other end like i guess you won't see that but you're not gonna hear it in my hear my voice but i can feel I can feel like my when I'm talking my voice is kind of shaky um I don't know if it's out of excitement 
or just the fact that it's new. Weird. Yeah. But yeah, other than I, think, I don't really have. Um, I mean, I, 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 I'm sorry, but I guess like, you know, ser- ser- seriously talking though, like, I mean, that's normal to feel like nervous when you're about to present something, especially if it's something that's mildly, at least mildly important, at least. Uh, it's kind of important. Okay. So it's kind of important. Oh, okay. It so it's even, important. even, yeah. It's, so it's even, the stakes are even higher then. So of course you're going to yeah. feel nervous. Yeah. Not, not, not everybody's, not everybody's clutch like that, man. Like you got, you got to train yourself. Yeah. True. I'm not even, I'm not even like that. Okay. So, uh, I've been thinking about what you said earlier regarding, you know, how you, you've been fasting and working out for 10 days straight now. Mm-hmm. That made 10 me days. Think. Yeah, 10 days consecutive, but, I've, you know, I've been doing that for the span of the whole, what, spring, summer. Right, it's always on and off, but this time you are you just decided to be more cons- more consistent, right? As yeah. part of your um, sober, sober October thing. Basically, um, yeah. Yeah, and that made me think, too, because then at the same time, like, good, you know, good for you. But then at the same time, that tiny that you made me feel lazy. <laughs> oh. So then I'm like, that so? yeah, I was like, fuck. Wait, well, yeah, well, talk, like, talk, uh, talk to me more about it. Yeah, well, unpack well, that. Well, I think it, 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 we were also talking about this earlier, how, you know, it, it really depends on who you associate yourself with, like the people that you with, like they, they tend to pull you into the direction that, you really want it to go, even though it's a little uncomfortable right now. No, that didn't come yep. out right. Like, no, no. Well, yeah, you know what I'm trying to say? Like, um, it, now you're doing like pos- this. Like positive or negative influence, basically. Well, it's, a, it's a positive influence, right? It's a positive yeah, influence. Yeah, and I, I know. Yeah. yeah. Um, but then again, it because it, it, it exposes my own, my weakness. Like, the, the, the weakness in in my character at the moment because that's, that's something that I wanted to do too um, when we initially started this conversation I'll be honest in my head I was like good luck with that <laughs> oh you didn't think I was going to be able to do it yeah because I, I tried fasting and fuck it didn't work for me I'm not saying that it shouldn't work for you but now you made it work so then mm-hmm. I'm like okay um, if he was able to do it then why can't I do it and I don't need, I don't, I'm not even trying to match what the heck you're doing. It's just the fact that um, even uh, like me, in terms of my physical, um, physical health, I'm not on top of it. No, you know, like I used to work out to every morning and then I stopped doing that, you know, because life happened. However, it's not an excuse. And this life is always, you know, it's always, easy to use it as an excuse for you to not to do the things that you know that you should be doing because physical health is important right you can come up with all those other things that are important but at the same time it's not something that you should ignore and those are the things yeah. that were that were going through my head earlier yeah um, like the, phys- the physical part it should be it, it shouldn't be um it shouldn't be something that you just do periodically. It's it's a lifetime's maintenance. Yeah, you have to keep going. Right, and that and, and, and that's what makes it hard, right? Like the, the the maintenance because once it turns into a habit, then it becomes a normal thing, right? But 100%. to get there though, like the, the beginning is just it's the hardest because then right now you pro- I couldn't think of any. Um, anything that I can give up so that I can make room for that. Even though that meaning, you know, like my physical, like focusing on my physical health. Um, so yeah, you know, it just made me think, um, am I going to do something about it? Maybe, maybe. And that's something that we're probably going to talk about in the next few episodes. Right. Yeah. So what do you, what do you, t- what do you typically do when you, when you, 
become or try to become active do you just work out like what's like i work out like there's this thing that i do called um if you follow it i don't know if you've heard of the happy body it's by uh jersey gregor but anyways it's a um that workout focuses on your flexibility and um on your back it's 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 more on on lifting um lifting weights and stretching Uh, and how long how many times do you do that a week i mean yeah in a week well i try to do it um i started every other day then i started doing it every day it it, it's kind of like how you how you are with your fasting you know It, it 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 goes up in terms of uh, frequency, you know, sometimes I'm on it, sometimes I'm off it. I'm on it. I'm on and off. Because you know how, you know how, like, well, there are changes in your life and it happens constantly. So when something uh, changes my routine, chances are I'm going to have to, like, you know, I, I give that part up for something else. Right. And this time I'm focusing on writing. So, 30 minutes of my time is focused on writing. And if I'm not writing or if I'm not focusing on writing, then maybe that's a time I can, you know, pull that routine back into uh, the, the, my morning habit. But right now I had to, now that I'm focusing on writing, I have to uh, give that up temporarily. Otherwise I would have to get up earlier but then if I what about your diet? Like, how are you eating? You eating diet good? is pretty you, well. Depending uh, on the wife. The <laughs> the de, no, depending on no it, it, yes and no. Like um back then we would um no not back then I'd say a month ago or two um I've been eating a lot of sa- you know just salad uh in the evening and during the day I would just have you know two eggs two hard-boiled eggs and some almonds it's what I'm, basically it's 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 healthier um yeah so it's not yeah you don't, you don't right eat, it however like you eat a lot of junk man. no but recently recently i have oh and recently junk, yeah. me, junk meaning you know full of filipino food um if there's the ulam, best, right that's the best this is the best junk bro right so then you have all the salt um, all the fancy ingredients and then mix that up with carbs. It's, um, it, it fills you up, but it's not a healthy source of energy. You know what I mean? Like you probably, like after eating, you probably feel all, I'm not, no, I wouldn't say exhausted, but you're not getting as much energy as, well, I'm not getting as much energy as I wanted to have. So that's something that I have to uh, look at as well. Um, so yeah, in terms of diet, that's um, that's how I'm handling my diet. The good thing about fasting, well, what I've been doing is I don't. It's not so much giving importance to what type of stuff you eat. It's more like when you eat. I mean, of course, obviously, like trying. I'm try, I try not to eat like crap. But yeah. I'm not as I'm you not as strict quiz with. Those. You still eat no, quiz no. no just... Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm not as strict with with what I eat. I can eat oh, okay. quiznos. It's it'll be fine. Mm. But you know, there, there's no there's no quiznos around me currently, so that's good because I would be eating there every day. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um... But, but yeah, like ba- basically, what I'm saying is like the I'm I'm still gaining a lot. Of, I'm I'm still having a lot of progress with what I'm currently eating and it's not that healthy quote unquote right well that's that's good then like with my stuff it's just that well one thing that i want to consider fasting too is because it's simple you don't need to eat and that's what i want sometimes it's it's the mental load that i guess that i find annoying i kind of want to save that mental um my mental energy on something else you know in terms of Again, I'm going to talk about writing um, or just thinking in general, right? Um, That's what I want to save it for. It's not something that I I don't really want to spend a lot of time trying to figure out what I'm going to eat 
or trying to figure out the time, you know, when to cook it, what ingredients I need to, uh, to pick. Um, and yeah, and that's what, that's why I'm looking at fasting as well as something that I kind of want to do. I did, I wanted to do it, but the problem that I had initially was that I, um, I was scared that I might not an ulcer, but hyperacidity. Cause I've had that problem. I've had, I've had that problem before too. Okay. Let, let me stop you right there. Mm-hmm. So, so I do have, I have acid reflux, right? Mm-hmm. You, like for you, for years now, it hasn't yeah. gotten worse. So I'll tell you that now, like it, it hasn't it, it's gotten not worse. Effect- it's not affecting that at all yeah maybe it's so, it's it's my understanding of the whole thing then right because because it was embedded in 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 my head that when you don't if you don't eat anything you right i don't know if that's the full mm-hmm. thing or if it's just a belief that's been um said Deep by bump. so many people it's, yeah it's an old science is what it is right like if you, you keep your stomach empty then you know, like the ass, you know, the ass is gonna keep coming, and it's got nothing to digest if you don't eat anything, yeah. and it's gonna yeah, end up. Uh, yeah, what it is is if it's if it's it, your body's smart, you know, if it knows that nothing's gonna nothing's gonna come, it'll just stop being a. You know, I, I'll still feel I still have acid reflux, but it's the same nor the same exact thing, like as if I. But when eating. you but when you get that though, you do you you know. Uh, pop up, I don't know, like a, a yeah, I have, or... I, have a, I have maintenance uh medicine for it. So while you're fasting, you're doing that too, then or no? Or you, you did you have no, no, like, those... yeah, the pill, the, the medicine has nothing, hasn't changed, it's the same exact thing, okay? But, but no, what I'm, I'm talk... saying, what, what, I, what I'm trying to say is fasting will not make it worse. Right. Okay. It's the gotcha. same exact thing. Yeah, it's the same exact thing. So whatever you're doing pre, if you're taking any pills, taking any antas- antacids, just do the exact same thing. It's not gonna change. Yeah, because then when you stay fasting, that that's tying into. I don't know if you've um, you've heard of um, ketosis, like a state of ketosis mm-hmm. or something. Mm-hmm. Um, that's not. I, I'll be honest. I'm. I don't really give a shit about ketosis and all that stuff. Or yeah, you know, the keto diet and all that because it seems like it's the fad these days. Yeah, or, I, I don't tried. Know if it's faded already. Yeah, I tried doing that, and I'm just like, this is too much work. Like, I'm not like I like simplicity. I like to simplify things. With yeah. with with fasting, it's it's basic it's basic math, bro. Like, if you don't eat, if you don't, you're not you're not getting the caloric intake that your body's needing to maintain your current weight. What's gonna happen? You're gonna lose weight. <laughs> this is it's, it is right, what it is. Right, right, right. So by fasting, but, but, this, but that means you're not. But your brain's gonna fight that though, because it's telling, right? Yeah, it's, it's, gonna, it's telling it's your gonna, body that, gonna, hey, oh, well, you're gonna starve now. Yeah, um, but it's gonna it's gonna fight it for only for so long up until it can't. It doesn't have any choice but to lose weight if you're not feeding it. Right. It is what it is. It, it it's I something just, that yeah, it's something that I wanted to explore. It's just uh, a matter of trying to figure out when to implement it, right? Yeah. Um, so are, are you gonna try to do it next week, so I can check <laughs> back on you? That's uh, that's pretty sudden. <laughs> um, you can or, tell I haven't something. fully decided yet, right? I get well, it, yeah. But are you gonna are you gonna do something? I'm, I'm, I'm yeah. Gonna. You know what? I'm probably gonna do. I'm probably gonna make it a. Uh, a no, Saturday is not a good time. Probably going to make it a, a Sunday thing. Right. Um, what does that mean? I'm going to start fat. I'm going to stop eating at, I'd say, 4 p.m. on Sunday and and not eat anything for 12 hours. I'll start there. And just, you know, 12 hours fasting once a week. I think that's easy enough. Start with 13. 13 hours? Yeah, that's like the minimum usually. Is that the minimum? For intermittent. Yeah, 13, 13, 8. So then 3 p.m. Okay, this is then I'm going to have to stop eating at, at Not 3 13, p.m. 13. Or you can just eat at a later hour in the mornings. You, you well, can no, still I, eat well, I, 
I I drink coffee, right? I am... you can. I mean, actually, coffee is a lot as long as you don't put anything on it. Yeah, that like, to me like sounds like not coffee. Like when I say coffee, I'm talking about I need it's about cream, cream and sugar. I know yeah, the yeah, cream yeah. and sugar. It has. That's why I was like, do I want to give that same. up? Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking. Do I want to give that up? Not really. No, I'm not ready to give that up because I need that when I'm writing. Right. So now you can see how sometimes the priorities will will they clash with each other and I just have to pick one or the other. I'm not saying that I can't, I can't I'm not saying that I can't do both. It's it's possible to do both. It's just that it's more effort. And um I'm saying cuz 3 p.m. might be too early for you especially like out of the blue. If you're not used to it, well, cuz I don't I don't eat past one o'clock. So I'm I'm like I'm used to that, but like for someone who's getting in, just getting into it that might be a little rough for you bro bro well if i eat a lot for a lot like it, you know i'm probably just gonna eat as much as i can before then and that would keep me uh you know feeling filled up yeah. for the rest of the night so I, I i try not to eat too much in the evening anyways so i think my body is used to feeling hungry in the evening yep same because mm-hmm. then it's a thing like and it's, it's becoming a problem with me too like you know when you go to parties late at night and sometimes you're kind of forced to eat not really but you got to eat something otherwise you're gonna starve too because then you're talking and doing all these other things as opposed to just relaxing at home um yeah it it, it, it makes it makes it tough um yeah. But my problem too is when I eat late in the like let's say if I if there's an event and I happen to eat too much I have a hard time sleeping in the evening and um, yeah and whatever tiredness you're feeling whatever struggle I'm feeling before going to bed is going to get carried over the, the next day uh, anyways <laughs> your thought you okay there? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm um, okay. <laughs> but anyways, it's something to to consider for sure. Yeah, just start it, see, see what it, see what happens, and then check back. You know, we'll we'll check back at it. Yeah. Next episode. The next see episode is gonna be, gonna be interesting because then you're gonna talk about your job, and I'm gonna talk about this. And that's yeah, what and I'm still gonna. No, but, go ahead. Oh, and, and and that's what makes this whole this you know, this podcast interesting too, because then we're going to try to find ways to, I guess, improve ourselves, check on each other. And at the same time, you know, like it, we, we have something to talk about. Um, yep. it, it, it makes your life more colorful in, you know, in a positive way as opposed to yeah. just pitching. Yeah. Also, I'm still gonna continue what I'm doing. So you 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 plan on starting yours, and am I still gonna continue right. on? Because yeah. you know I have you know I set my goal as you know the, the whole October, but it doesn't mean it's gonna stop next month. It's still yeah. gonna continue. It's just that this is like a good little challenge because I have another challenge that I'm gonna Add give to myself it. for next month. Yeah, but you know I won't talk about it till next month. Yeah, you know, yeah, one step at a time. Exactly. Otherwise, you, you're going to be too overwhelmed, right? Yeah. Um, and then, you know, especially, hopefully, with the whole job situation, crossing my fingers, knock on wood, it'll be a lot of transition again. So I'll be busy this month moving again. So we'll see. It, 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 and that's how it always is anyways. There's always going to be that transition period. And yep. they take the most work, most energy. Because it's, it's same thing with me. My uh, fiance is gonna. Uh, she found a new job, and this time she's she'll be working for eight hours. Mm. That means. Um, is it more 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 days though? More days, yeah. Mm-hmm. So now you know we can do our our you know our recordings earlier in the evening as opposed to later at night. And it'll be more consistent too. 
Um, so that's a good thing. And that's a good thing for myself too, because then I can sleep earlier and not, you know, worry so much about it the next day. Yeah. Um, again, transition. Yeah, exactly. Okay. It's, it's, it's awesome, man. This life in general, just, you know, you get a, you know, you never know what to expect on the horizon. Something always happens. Yeah. I don't know about you guys, the audience, what you guys go through as well. And yeah. I hope you guys have something exciting to, you know. Anything. If you guys have something to share, just type it on the comment section. Just let us know. Yeah. Or if you don't want, if you don't, if you don't want to be, if you want to be a little private, you can always like. Send us a message. Us. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. If you, you like shaving, if you feel like shaving your eyebrows. I hope did, did you, like, <laughs> yeah. you like shaving your eyebrows because you know you're it's you know just a pandemic and it's making you depressed go right ahead and do it but <laughs> do you know what I'm talking about though when I was talking about the no, eyebrows? I, I, I don't know who this person is <laughs> that's your best buddy I, I don't know if you wanna <laughs> wait is it Beho? <laughs> yeah <laughs> no way <laughs> You, really you might want to ask him. You might want to ask him. I'm probably. I'm gonna ask him on a. You know, in our little chat there. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I didn't know that it was him. I'm pretty sure was that was a story. Else. Someone shared the story with me. I didn't really, uh, really notice yeah, it. Because how? Yeah, I was gonna say because how? How did we not notice that if he actually did? I don't that? know. That's a good question. That's a good. Hey, I'm talking about, uh, grade five, grade six. Yeah, fifth grade, grade, sixth grade, yeah. Yeah, I can't remember how old we were back then. Um, so if I was grade right. one, yeah, we're probably like, yeah, well, young. Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, no, uh, no. I don't Did know. You said twelve. <laughs> yeah, twelve is grade five, right? I don't know. Um, we were know, we were on the six, young. 11. We were on the we were on the young end, bro. So I I mean I was eleven when we graduated. When we were in sixth grade, so yeah, so I was I was eleven as well then, right? Yeah, because exactly. I was just thinking you, we were in first grade when you were six. I was six too, so then no, I was five. I was five first grade. Oh, I yeah, turned shit. six. I turned six, but I was, I was during five right. Years old. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's crazy. You, I, know. I guess you're young. Yeah. Don't you read things so that maybe you're well too advanced that you could <laughs> you couldn't keep up with the crowd. No, I was I was smart. That's why I was able well, to do it. Well, I know, but did you ever make it to the top twenty, like uh, or top ten, like I, Ces I, hey, like, I, like Ces I was Cesar. Uh, I was I was Cesar. Um, Cesar. I was an honors. I'll have you know that I was an honor student back in first grade. I was number one. Which school was though? A... CC. <laughs> hey man, I'm still number one. I'm still number one I'm, though. I'm, I'm hey, laughing because. Hey, do, do you remember? I'm your skills. Wait, wait. Do you remember who Ro Rose Christine as The name that sounds name so sounds? familiar because um, <laughs> it 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 it's. Everyone has a question. Uh, the, the, yeah, I remember the name. I remember the name because. Um, Rose Christine, yeah. Yeah, people, t uh, people in class talk about her. I think Hammer okay. talks about her. Yeah, so she's she's CC. I think she's, she's a, a, girl, a right? life. She's a life. I don't remember her name. I heard her what she looks like, but she was she's the early 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 Bell, or early not early Bell is that her name? Early early May. Early May. Early May. Yeah. She was the early May of That's CC. That's her Facebook name, probably. Early she, doll. She was, yeah, I don't fuck. I, <laughs> yeah, it's, that, that was her name on, see, you got me all lost. That was the early May of CC back CC. then? CC, yeah. So like a so top in, A student? In, in the first grade, I was over Rose Christine. I was number one. She was number two. So then what <laughs> happened? What happened after? That, that was my crap. That was my crowning achievement, bro. It was all downhill from then. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it felt too confident with your, um, yeah, you know. But you know, and and my, you know, my family always say say this. Like I was, I was always, I was always the smartest, a smart one. It's just that I, I didn't apply myself. I was lazy, and it is what. Isn't it that is. isn't that, isn't that interesting though? A lot of people are smart, but if you're lazy, 
it's not really gonna take you anywhere. No. Right. And unless uh, unless you're super smart that it still you're smart enough you're so smart that not doing anything you're still able to like skate by by not doing anything yeah by not doing anything but but the thing is that 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 may be okay when you're young but as you get older it it doesn't work in life yeah yeah Mm -hmm. it um and that's bad too because then at an early age you're probably thinking well this works right and what's bad is if you don't adapt to change as you get older. Yeah. Because uh, some people are, are, are like that. I know they're, they're smart. I don't even consider myself smart, right? I just work hard and I tr- tr- take the easy way out. That's always been my uh, thing. You know, if there's I an easier way out. Yeah, I'm like this. I consider myself that. If, it, if, if like shit didn't ha- happen to me, to where I had to, I changed the mindset and not just for this year, but like the last mm-hmm. couple of years, like mm-hmm. going back to school and all that. Cause I was like, I was like that. Like I, I being smart enough to skate by in school back in the fields was, it created bad habits. We focused and, on good you know, enough, right? Yeah. And it was just like, ah, you know, you don't have any drive. You, you, you're not competitive. You, you don't have any ambition. And you're just like, whatever. Yeah. And, and as that, long as I'm that, not failing, that's the goal. The goal is not to yeah. fail. It's like, how, how, why did it be, why did it come to that? Just like, oh, just putting in the minimum work, putting in the minimum effort. Sometimes not even, you just rely on other people's efforts for you to like, <laughs> like, well, like that's we, the thing. remember, and, remember, and that's in like, se- yeah, remember that's in our the senior year, where we all just copied your answers. We didn't even care. I, I, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't give a shit as long as none of us, none of you guys get caught because I'm going to get in shit too. Um, yeah. But, but, but <laughs> the point, of, the point of that is, yeah, like we didn't care. We was just like, all right, let's just, uh, we mm-hmm. know, we know, Ram, we know Ramon is, is studying and we know he's at least prepared. So we'll just copy his answers because we don't give a crap. But, but, but that's the thing. Like it, it the fact that there's an easier way to get there is what makes it tempting, right? Um, although that makes you, well, lazy. That's how you build a bad habits. But then at the same time, yeah, yeah. But then at the same time, you know, when you're, when you're doing that kind of stuff, when you're quote unquote cheating, you gotta admit that sometimes, that somehow that kind of makes you feel smarter too than the other person. Right? Uh. Because you were able to get by without trying by putting in the minimum effort, um, right? You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. And here's here's another issue of mine with that. It's like the group thing. Like all of us in the group, there was besides you, there was really no one who wanted to like get be better or like to ace their you know ace their test and have good grades. Every everybody, every one of us were just like eh. And that was that's a bad that's a bad recipe, <laughs> you know. Yeah. If you, it, it goes back to our main point about like surrounding yourself with mm-hmm. influence and people that that will lift yeah, yeah. you up instead of just like whatever. Hey, when I at first when I when I joined you guys in the B section, uh, or section B, at first it it kind of hurt, but at the same time I was fine with it. I was actually. It, it hurt at first, but then you, after a while, it's you, like, I'm glad it happened. You're, yeah, you were probably happier. Yeah. Because um, yeah. then I got to hang out with you. Yeah. Well, yeah, because uh, I, I, feel, I, I felt left out when you guys all flunked and I managed to uh, stay in the I, 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 did, I didn't flunk. I just maintained. <laughs> Every, every, I, hey man, I wait. I waited for all you guys. <laughs> I, I, I waited oh. for all you guys down there. In fact, oh. I, I actually improved because I, I transitioned I so. from agriculture agriculture to beef. All you guys just went down. How, did you I'm really like, improve? Come on. Hold on. Did you really improve, though, or did someone just you know decide to leave and open up more spots? <laughs> that that good sir is exactly what happened. <laughs> I did not improve. I just like, <laughs> oh, I was the next, I was the next, I was the next dude up, basically. Uh, but anyway, meanwhile, 
John Rebeck, Mark Raymond, and, oh, Mark Raymond, Edmund, and all the all those guys from our school are like, man, how come we didn't manage to get there? Um, hey, I- I'm sorry, you weren't you weren't above 63. I was 63 <laughs> out of. I was the next one in. I was the next one in line. I'm sorry. Oh man, Ramon, I know ang nasa box. <laughs> what do you say, box? Box. 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 Ramon, ano ang nasa sa kahon? Kahon. There you go. Ano ang nasa kahon? Ano ang nasa kahon? All right. I'll, it's my it's my turn to do it this time. I'm gonna pull it. All right. So October is a special time for you and I for a lot called, of different reasons. You call it special. Okay. Yeah, it's special, man. Yeah, yeah. Another another thing that makes it special is in October fifth, two thousand and one, we decided to name or to start our group slash friendship and call it the Thugs Authority back in high school. This was in high school. Yeah, this was um, in high school. It's but, we were in high school in two thousand and one. Right. That makes yeah. me want to like hurt myself. But yeah, so 2001 was the start of our group. We've, we've been friends for way longer than that. But for, for this conversation, the actual group called Thugs Authority was born that day. And, mm-hmm. you know, since this is October, we would be remiss if we didn't mention that we didn't talk about it, that this year 2020 is the 19th year anniversary of that little group right yeah yeah 19 years ago i don't even remember how many we, members we had we had a lot it, and, 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 and it got i'll be honest it's gotten to a point where like you're just grabbing man whoever who wants to join the the, the group and it didn't really matter to me because Either way, I'm friends with you guys. <laughs> you know, maybe a part yeah. of the group or not. Um, again, like it didn't matter much to me, but it probably mattered to some of the other um, other people. I remember. I like, yeah, I I knew I know it mattered to me because I was I was all up in that thing. Like I was like one well, of the main was ones the- who was recruited. Yeah, it was the cool thing back then, like to create with your own group and you you, you name you give it a name. Yeah. Um, and, and yeah, and another thing with that is that it, it for the longest time in high school, we were just those we were just that group that were just like slackers. I mean we we still were, but for mm-hmm. the for the majority we were just like the slackers and we we nobody really gave us any attention really. But what? for some reason, okay. hang on. But for some reason, there was a switch of like mentality and um, awareness that we started becoming the cool slackers. Like we were the cool group that people wanted to join to. Mm-hmm. So we were like, oh, okay, this is kind of cool. So you know, it's to use your favorite word. It was like it was an ego boost. Right. It was an ego boost. Yeah. It definitely um, was. Now I'm starting. I'm starting to wonder too. Well, what started what started this right the, the whole grouping name like what's like, like you have the smile group you have the pokemon group <laughs> you have um zairi van kazel <laughs> you have the flips uh, oh yeah um, we we stole a lot of their um, little members too i i guess so well uh, so they're like they, they are the, the the you know the, the the cool guys in school like you know the good looking ones um that's that group the the, the flips that's um that's them you, you know um i don't know about you but we got we got some 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 honeys in our group what are you talking about the good looking one <laughs> which one Honey. which one which one we you're got, talking about <laughs> we got some banhal and sun sean baby prime prime rib and then you got out uh, mark mark aldrin antonio uh and, dex, oh, dexter uh, dexter we got, we got dexter 
Yo, we got some models, bro. We got we got some uh, killers in that group. All right, or so, Joe Peter. Joe Peter. Back then, I thought his name was Jupiter, like the planet. It, really? Yeah, it didn't. It <laughs> it, it didn't, didn't click. click. It didn't click right away until you know um, I saw his real name. The, mm-hmm. the whole time, I thought it was Jupiter. Um, See, I mean, it might as well because he being another planet. <laughs> <laughs> Well, he thinks like he's from another planet. Um, yeah, but something triggered this. I can't remember which, because I remember working on, we had a class in journalism. It's called journalism is the name of, um, of, of uh, the sub, I don't know, you call it subject or the program? The class. The, the, class. the class, right? Um, and I remember we had to come up, you know, they you have to come up with your own group and then you, no, never mind. That's different. I was thinking. I I thing. think I know uh, the catalyst of the thugs thing. N- not so sure about the groups in general because it's been around, but like just the thugs in general. Uh-huh. Do you remember? No. It started with Tobal, with Cristobal. Because he, he wanted to join us. Like, I don't know. I don't know which group he did. He, was he, did, he did. He did. Um, yeah, and you, you were facilitating. Of, you were yeah, I, yeah, I you was were, you, because I'm, you were facilitating I'm, that. I'm good friends with his ex girlfriend. Yeah, then girlfriend back in the day. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm good friends with her, and he, you know, she she mentioned that she he wanted to join, and I can tell he just got he wanted to join too. So I'm like, and he's friends with James. Exactly. So, so he's already um, he had an in. Yeah. So then I'm like, why not? You know, come in, join us, and he did. Yeah. Um. And he was probably the only member from, um, this from Section A, right? Um, I th- think so. Us. He's probably the early, early ones. He was. The he, only was one. he was the first outsider. Yeah. Um, no, yeah, and, and he's not the only flips one because uh, Fruto went too. Remember, Ben yeah. Ben Hur's b- boyfriend. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Like when all these guys start, and then then you have you have Kyle too. Mm-hmm. We had we had like an underclassman join us. I think yeah. at uh, towards the end of that, it was more like we let, they joined because it was a cool thing to do. Right. That's what it is. Oh, then you have, you know, um, Dexter and those guys too, right? Like, they, they were originally from our Pokemon, from, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so... <laughs> so they're affiliated of, with other... other yeah. Groups. It's like a bunch of the people that wanted to join us mm-hmm. joined. Uh, and, and I remember we, we kind of had like a little initiation too. Like, yeah, you got to do something. Before you were able, yeah. to, you're able to join. But yeah, it's nothing honest. like it's yeah. nothing devious. It was just like fun. Kind of like I can't. I'll be honest. I can't remember. I can't. I have no recollection because I didn't have to go through any of that shit. That's probably why I can't remember. Um, yeah, I mean, majority of the time you were actually going to school, you were going to class. So <laughs> and we would just be like whatever. I didn't so, want to fucking fail, guys. So yeah. You've missed uh, a bunch of you've missed a bunch of those times. That's what I is. did. I did. Yeah. I just hear stories. Yeah, but if you really think about it, you know, like we're gonna celebrate nineteen. We celebrated nineteen years. You know, greeted, had a post mm-hmm. on Facebook, whatever. But if you really think about it, it was the Thugs Authority itself ended when we graduated. Yeah, like it was over. It was over then. Yep. Like the thug, the thugs authority as it was mm-hmm. ended, and it went back to our original, the pre the friendship, right. yeah, the original circle, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. No, that's true. Because okay, like if you, if you have to think about think about it right now, who is in the original circle? Who is in the original circle? Mm-hmm. I know Pat, mm-hmm. you, myself, Jekyll, Beho. Mm-hmm. Um, James, James, um, 
I think you, you I put Kudal. I think Kudal, Kudal, yeah. Yeah, you put Kudal there. Even Van Halen, I think. Yeah, but he, yeah, he, 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 he is. He's definitely in, right? Because he was in before Kristoba, so he has to be. Yeah, Van Halen. Which well, is the fact that I'm not remembering them. <laughs> kind of sucks too. Yeah, I mean, um, it is. It is what it is. If you haven't talked to them in so long, um, would you yeah, consider? Yeah. Would you consider John Ives to be one, or no? Oh wow. They were the the last ones, right? Yeah, they yeah. were like they came in our senior ah. year type thing. Yeah, yeah. Right after yeah, the so. fact, I guess. Right after, maybe yeah. we've gained some popularity in uh, in school. I don't know. Yeah, no I one. think the the reason the reason why I'm kind of including them is because they kept up with us in college, like Ives. <laughs> And Van Halen, even mm-hmm. Cristobal. So it, it's kind of, you know, it overlaps with me as far as that. Mm. Yeah, well, I left it, after high school, so. So you don't have that connection. Yeah, yeah. I don't have that connection. Um, but I remember talking to Van Halen. When he, I guess Van Halen was the last. Van Halen uh was the last uh no, say it, say it right banal banhalin <laughs> banhalin <laughs> uh yeah um he was the last guy that i talked to in our group because i didn't really want to say goodbye it's like, okay hey, i'm coming back anyways or i'm gonna come visit it's not like it's i'm not gonna die um because yeah. not a lot of people knew about it i mean i knew about it because you told yeah, me well, you, but yeah yeah, you were you the first one. No, I didn't. I just left. I, I think I just, the only reason I think the only reason you told me is because I you knew that I was gonna go to here, go to the U.S. I don't think yeah. you would have said anything. Well, no, I think I always knew you were you were planning to move to the states. I always knew that. I guess um, it made sense because your mom's there. Um, yeah, I can't remember why I shared. Maybe you asked. I don't know. Um, yeah. Yeah, I just remember that summer before. Because when did you leave? Do you remember? Was it was it the back summer? in June. It was when everyone's getting ready for college. Yeah. So, so and everyone's you busy. Kinda, you kind of, yeah, you flew under the radar. Everybody was just like, you know, they they got their schedules full. They yeah. Thinking about all that. And it has something to do with self esteem, too, right? I have a low self esteem, and I don't think it mattered. Anyway, so you know what? It's not like their life's going to change when they find out or I'm not expecting everyone to be like, hey, we should, you know, um, go go say bye to him. I didn't. I didn't. I mean, to, looking yeah. back, you should have had you should have had a dispedita, bro. Like, to be honest, I'll be, I'll, I'll be, I, I did have one, but not with, you know, not just like a family thing. Yeah, right. no, I'm Nothing talking about with, with us. With us, oh, yeah, I mean, yeah, know, it, it didn't have to be like the thugs, but it, at least like the actual the circle, right? I, you should have. I mean, you're kind of wrong for that. Well, the, the thing is, I, 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 like, okay, that's why I said it has something to do with the self esteem, right? I didn't think I was significant enough that I would pull everyone together, be like, hey guys, come say goodbye. It, it, I didn't have, you know, I didn't have um, the self esteem. I didn't realize that I'm that I'm putting that much value on myself among us. When I left, Bejo Jeko like went with me to the airport. Come on, like we we would have done, well, well, you know, well. we we wouldn't have done that to you or whatever. But like at least we would have we would have spent your last day before you left. We yeah, been, like, I guess so. Because but every, they would have came down. I would have came down from. But Manila that makes it the, that that, that makes it harder to leave then, right? You're still gonna leave. Who cares? Well, no, I, that's what I'm saying. I'm still gonna leave, but it makes it harder to leave. But then, that's selfish. That's selfish on your part because you didn't. It let is. Us, yeah, I get, yeah, you, I you guess so. It is. It is. I mean, you know, it's water under bridge now, but yeah, I'm just saying, like, if you had to redo it, you could have, you could have said goodbye. And and. And that's still a problem I have today. Like it just um one thing that I'm I remembered. Same. I'm the same way, by the way. But go ahead. Um 
so when I left at work, um, I, you know, sometimes at work, you th- there are some people that you're, you, you're close with, you know, like some people that you talk to regularly. And I had no time to let them know that I'm going on leave, on parental leave. I just, uh, I just left. I just put my auto, uh, auto reply message saying that I won't leave. So when mm-hmm. I came back, this guy that I, that I, you know, always talk to, he goes, what the hell? You didn't even tell me you're leaving. I uh, was like, no, sorry, man. Like I just took off. I was so busy. I didn't have time But in my head. I didn't think it fucking mattered. Um, so yeah, I don't know if that's, um, uh, and I wouldn't call, call it ego, but now I'm going to keep using self-esteem. Something to do with my self-esteem. I don't think it's self-esteem because I'm the same way. Because uh, Okay, so do you know the term Irish goodbye? No. It's basically what you're doing. I do that same thing. It's like you don't, you don't paalam. You don't say nothing. You just leave. Yeah. Um, I do the same thing, not because I have low self-esteem. It's more I hate goodbyes. I get awkward with it. So I just try... Oh. Exactly. That's exactly my point. Right. I don't, but that's not, that's not self-esteem. That's not, that has nothing to do with it. It's just that you you don't like doing that. But there's a reason why though. Like, why don't you like doing that? Because I'm awkward at it. (laughs) But then again, then, then dig deeper. Why, why are you awkward at, you know, why am I awkward at it? Uh, There's a reason why. no, I know the reason. I just didn't want to get into it, but okay. Okay, we don't we don't think, need to get into it. <laughs> but go ahead. Yeah. I think like childhood like abandonment issues come to right. mind. It, but it, it's it, you know, it's still it's not self esteem. But what I'm saying Yeah. It might like moment, it might be to, it might be to you, but to me it's not. Right. Uh, yeah, because like it's again, the moment you start going back to the past and because that past is part of your personality yeah, and then connect, and connected, they're connected. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's why I'm calling it self steep And that's exactly where I'm getting at. It's, it, this is like whatever, however I am today, it's really from somewhere. Um, and that's, that's everybody. Right. But the, the Irish goodbye thing, that's, yeah, I don't know what's driving that right now. I think it's self steam, but I know it's something deeper. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, anyways. You might be um, you might be true on your end, like it, it's it it goes along with your personality that it is like your yourself. It's like an esteem problem. It's your yeah. confidence. Yeah, or like putting my value on myself. Like mm-hmm. some people will yeah. say I'm valuable, but I'm like, you don't get to say you're valuable. Other people will get to say how valuable you are. You don't. Mm-hmm. Um, we're taking this conversation to a different. Topic. I know. Let's 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 go back let's, to the thumbs. Yeah. Uh, let's, uh... Any any anything any favorite uh, moments that you want to talk about? Let's let's talk about a couple of our favorite mo- moments, and then we can wrap it up. You can you can you can start with yours because for me, I don't know. There's no such thing as favorite because hanging out like hanging out with you guys, it was it was fun. Like it's funny because we had like we goofed around with each other. Um, I liked how we were all honest with each other. You know, we had to, you know, if we have a problem with someone, we confront them. No bullshit, remember, right? Remember this? What does that mean? Uh, tiwala. Yep. We, 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 uh, we would use this term called tiwala. Tiwala. I'm saying it wrong. Tiwala, which mm-hmm. is trust in Filipino and Tagalog. It's, it's our, like, own code for... We say that when we're like, bro, no lies. Mm-hmm. We're t- I'm telling you the truth. You have to trust me. Tiwala. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah. And, and that's, I, li- I like that. Like, you know, it's, um, we're just honest with each other. Mm-hmm. So there were times we would backstab each other. But in the end, it gets revealed. And it's, there are cases it's not forgiven for a while. Sometimes it's forgiven. Um, that said, we I think we've gone through a lot of shit. Mostly you guys, you know, you know, after high school, 
I think, because that's yeah. when the real that's when the real shit starts to happen. Yeah, but you still had your crap, like you the salut the salut stuff. <laughs> yeah, there <laughs> we we, we, we had those. I, we had those. I, I want to save that in our first crush episode, <laughs> so we'll unpackage wow. that. We'll unpackage uh, that. Well, little. Yeah, and, it's. And, uh, and I'm gonna clip that out. Why did Ramon salute? <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing. Like you know, you get branded that even though that wasn't the intent. And it don't matter what the intention is, bro. You did. That's like well, that's the thing. I, like, I, 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 I had no fucking clue. Let's, let's, I had let's no not, fucking let's not, clue. Let's not um, get into this right now. Let's not get it, into it's... this. <laughs> um, I'm laughing now because. It's something that we obviously we can laugh about now. Um, mm-hmm. I mean, I also have kind of the same thing. Everyone has with, done things. With, everyone yeah, with Beho. Yeah, uh, everyone. So, everyone has done things. With, you know, we, we, that's what I, that's what I'm saying. Like, we there's a point where we would backstab each other, sometimes mm-hmm. intentionally, sometimes unintentionally. Yeah, you know. Yeah, um, you, yeah. So yeah, just back to your point. Yeah, it's yeah. yeah. I, or that time when, like, okay, now I'm remembering things. There was that time when, um, yeah, I think it was Boy Scout. You know, like we have to do, we have to go camping, mm-hmm. um, in school, and at one point we had to go to San Clemente to grab, um, to grab manure. some kawa, not manure, oh, manure. no, like uh, the. Uh, some bam, I guess bam, not bamboo sticks. The say in Tagalog or Ilocano, what is it? Kawayan, Kawayan is bamboo. Kawayan, right? yeah, okay, yeah. 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 Like we would so, have so to grab wood. some Kawayan. Wait, wood. It's, yeah. it's not wood. <laughs> it's wood that came from bamboo. <laughs> bamboo is grass, Bro, though, right, buddy? Ba- whatever. It's it's a, anyway, it's a plant. Right. Yeah. Oh, it's grass. Um, yeah, and I remember one time, I had, I guess I didn't leave enough money to um, pay for my fare to go home you know uh, for the bus mm-hmm. Mazda the Mazda mm-hmm. so then I, I don't know who uh, started this but I think it was Pat who was like sorry man like we've got nothing to like because I started asking everyone for, hey man can you spare me some change <laughs> like yeah. a fucking beggar right <laughs> it's like everyone's like sorry man like we don't have nothing and even I know you guys had something. You guys were just like, I didn't have nothing. You're probably not gonna remember this because it didn't happen to you. And I wasn't even sure if you were there. Um, yeah, I don't. I don't remember the story. So. But anyways, um, so what happened was, well, obviously they fucking pissed me off. I was pissed off. Like you guys, kind of fucking friends are you? So then I started mm-hmm. walking. Started walking on the fucking road <laughs> on the way to come. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and like fucking cousin and all that and then and then there's this bus the Mazda stopped mm-hmm. right like, you know right in front of like right right in front of me uh-huh. and like we're just fucking with you man right? <laughs> 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 oh my god uh, they were <laughs> laughing <laughs> their asses off <laughs> did you have tears flowing down as you're as you're walking no you're this is like so we would do those mean things to each other and oh yeah bro right it, 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 we would make one of us cry and <laughs> oh yeah that's like a yeah, challenge it, like it, yeah and and you know what i appreciate those though because then it 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 toughened me up like when it comes to criticism and all that yeah, I, I can take it. Like, I'm, and that's probably one of the reasons why we're probably, you know, how sometimes when we talk, when we make fun of uh, other people, like we be, it sounds so mean to others. But to me, I know it's mean. It's normal. Yeah. It's normal, it's, and it's and it's fucking hilarious, right? Exactly. It, it, when when we're trying to be mean, it's we're trying to be mean and fun and make you laugh. It's not just right. like like an evil like mean. right. You you, yeah. you take it to the next level because it's that funny. It's funny, yeah. That's what it right? is. Right? Like you that, would that stick is... a chewing gum on one of our fence chair one time. We did that. <laughs> <laughs> or oh or, my god. Or um, you know, crumpled paper. Like you would leave it in someone else's bag. 
So then when mm-hmm. they get home, they open their bag and it's full of, you know, a bunch of, a bunch of paper. I don't know if I want to tell the story because it's kind of, <laughs> gr- it's a little gross, but whatever. Uh, one time, someone peed in one of Bejo's beverages. No fucking way. And then he drank it. And they, <laughs> they, they let him drink the whole thing without saying anything. <laughs> And it, was, and it was like half half beverage, half piss. <laughs> so he Beho drank like uh, and then like you know, we no were one, all laughing. Hey. We were we were all laughing after and then that cause, cause you know she was drinking with the rig was like <laughs> he was just kinda like that, but no one was saying anything. So when he was done, it was like boy. <laughs> so he knew? He was like, no, he, he knew after, but he was like, Ooh. <laughs> Bro, he was like, he was so defeated. Oh, no shit. Like, he was so defeated. Like, he didn't got... do anything. Like, he felt so sick. No, he I so... someone's piss. No, no shit. Like, now I feel sorry for him because when I was talking about the chewing gum incident, that was that was him too. No, I think it was. I think it was... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh, like, you know. <sighs> Wait, yeah, we were... when when Jacko got did Jacko got pushed in Lover's Lane or did he actually tripped? Well, well, he, it, he, it, he well that's the thing. He thought someone pushed him. He was someone. I think someone. Are you sure? No, he no one. He just, no one. He just, he just fell. He just he slipped and he fell. He slipped I, and I, fell. I, I thought someone like tied his shoes. Like no, nail. what no, what happened was um. Was I think? No, I don't think so. I I, sure? I think he was saying someone someone. This is the story because <laughs> I was in class, and as soon oh, as you were that, there. I wasn't I wasn't you there. there. Oh, as soon as mind, like, yeah. everyone was cracking up when they <laughs> told me because <laughs> <laughs> then Cause you know how, like yeah. well you know how to get there right? you know it's like the the one on the island so it's like yeah, it's yeah. one it's one plank of wood with a bamboo. On right. top, so you can kind of hold. So you mm-hmm. just imagine him just like. Well, it's it's just falling down. It's it's funny because it's funny because I I think his plan was to leave Beho there because he was napping, and his plan was I, to just leave him there. That's right? exactly. It was like karma. I think yeah, that's instant karma. So he was the one who planned it, and he was the one who started walking. You know, sneaking. He started sneaking yeah. away from. from Beho. <laughs> he just. And then as, as he was sneaking, he slipped. And yeah, fell on the, like, the pond. And he 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 fell like ba- like like backwards. <laughs> this is the funniest. <laughs> That's the funniest part of it. That's <laughs> look at look at me. He was like he's he's like he was falling like this. <laughs> <laughs> That's the most yeah. funny thing about it. I was like, what, oh, bro? Talk, talk, talk about instant karma right there. Man. It's funny because he started blaming. Yeah, like why. He was yeah, asking, was like, like why'd you guys push me? But you know like, what? Anybody push you, bro? <laughs> ain't nobody push you. Blame your balance. Blame your balance and coordination. <laughs> I, I think the chin was a little too heavy there. Mm, kind of swayed, swayed it to the <laughs> side, or swayed it. Like he looked back at Bejo, <laughs> and then it, the the counter rate was just too much. I don't know. Um. So yeah, all that happened in that time too when um, we had that. I don't know who still has that picture where, you know, Aldrin, right? Aldrin looked like he was raped. <laughs> no, we, we, we were basically doing that. We were trying to pull his pants down and take a picture of his dick. I, re- I remember that moment because I remember that moment because you guys were after the, the, the shortest guys in the group and you're looking at me. A bunch myself, of bullies. It was, it was a bunch myself, of bullies, bro. Um, Tobal and uh, Aldrin. I don't know if you guys were even thinking about Aldrin. Uh, but you guys were planning something. I I'm pretty sure you guys don't even fucking know what you guys wanted to do, but you just wanted nah, to do I, something. Yeah, we just gonna like yeah. we just wanted to mess with one of y'all. Yeah. So then I was ready to fucking run. Um, I kind of knew what was happening in the background without you guys saying something. So you were there in that picture. You were actually there. I was in that picture. I didn't want to be part of it actually, because you know what happened. I think it was myself. Uh, Tobal and Alvin, you guys got off from where, your spot and started chasing us. 
And I guess the closest person to you guys is Alvin. Mm-hmm. So you caught him. You guys had no idea what to do with him. You just started lifting him. And then I think it was Tolo who uh, grabbed, because this was a time when we were working on a thesis and we have our own cameras, right? So you yep. grabbed the camera. Yep. It's okay. I don't know who init- who <laughs> he grabbed the camera and I don't know, had someone had a thought that to, you know, to, to, to strip him. <laughs> <laughs> is, it, is it is it Pat? <laughs> I, don't I don't know. I don't know. Oh shit! When that, when that happened, I was like, "Oh shit, this is fucking mean," and uh, we were laughing at the same time. Mm-hmm. I was like, "Way to go with the fucking picture! Like you didn't have to do that." Um, I'm pretty sure Bear Bearho has that picture. Yeah, I think I think I've, I've seen, seen it, it before. But then, but then, because I was looking at Aldrin and see how he reacts, right? He he took it he took it well. You know, he took it well. He was laughing. He, yeah, he was laughing and he was just yeah. Like, but know, in whatever. his head, he's probably like this motherfuckers, right? Oh yeah. Um, I mean, he was help. He was helpless. Can do nothing. He was helpless, right? Mm-hmm. But anyways, I guess the point is we would do that kind of stuff to each other. It's not like it's not like today where like we didn't. We didn't post that picture to everyone and made fun of it. No, 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 no. It was just like, us. Right. Um, we are making fun with him, right? Yep. Not of him. Um, yep. So we would do those kind of uh, things to each other. You know, we would be mean. And, and that's what I find valuable. I, I don't, like even with my friends here, I don't really get to that comf- comfortable level. Well, you're, you, you know, you have the balls to say things or say things that could potentially hurt their feelings. You know what I mean? And, but when it comes to you guys, uh, oh, no one gives a fuck. We, we do, Bro, we do takes, care, don't get me wrong. It, it, we, yeah. We do care, but it's something that we understand. We, we understand where it's coming from. Yeah, it's, it's, you, you don't have, you only have in, uh, so many childhood friends. That's what it is. No, I guess we've so. been we, we've been friends since we were like babies. Yeah, it's, just, it's one of those things. Yeah, I I yeah. I, I guess. I I don't want to I don't want to bring this conversation down, but like, it just made me think about it. Like, I wonder what's gonna happen. Well, like once we get old enough that someone starts dying, you know, that'd be weird, yeah. bro. Yeah. 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 We'll still manage to, you know, keep in touch. Like, even with Jacko, I know he's very hard to get a hold of. You know, mm-hmm. he pops in once in a while. I don't know about, I don't know, Pat and Beho. I haven't heard anything from Pat. And we, we, yeah, we we don't really talk to Pat all anymore. our friends anymore. Yeah, no. it's, it's primarily just that, that little group that we have on Facebook. Facebook yeah, Messenger. yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah. But yeah, guys, so that's that's our little story. Um, mm-hmm. We're about to end this. Mm-hmm. Yeah, thank you for listening. You can find us in the description box. We appreciate you as always. Mm-hmm. And next episode. Again, comments if you have any. Um, yes, sir. Okay, so um, and, and that's it. Yes, sir. Well, talk to you guys later.